Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today is a glorious, glorious day. Oh, I've been waiting for this for like, I don't know, 15 plus years. The reinvention of the Mortal Kombat movie. Number one, basically, I guess you could say. Look at this beautiful katsu we got as well to go with it. Oh, it's a glorious day. And uh, so, guys, let, let's just get right into it, man. This trailer is so good <laughs> for me for me anyways i'm not sure about you guys but it looks like it's gonna be decent a little bit worthwhile because it's got all the uh the grittiness the darkness of the original mortal kombat movie kind of mixed in there but it's a completely different scenario this time around yet you're getting those same characters kind of mixed in there uh this looks like it's more overall arcing on like uh, I guess three pivotal plot points, I guess you could say. You got the Raiden Shang Tsung plot point. You got the Sub-Zero Scorpion plot point, which is right now kind of happening. And then you got the main character, which, um, forgive me, I don't even know his name. And then you got a few of the other kind of warriors mixed in there. You got Jax, you got Kung Lao, you got Liu Kang. But I don't think they're going to be as pivotal focused on this time around as as the ones I just previous mentioned, because it really, really seems to hinge on those three, or at least that's what you get from the trailer, those three pivotal kind of overall arcs. And then you got like some, I don't know, surprise characters in there. You got Reptile mixed in there, if you didn't see. You got Goro, you got uh, Smoke in there, or Noob Seba. I'm not even sure which one it is. I think it's Noob Seba, but it no, no, in all likelihood it's smoke, but it's just a different uh, visualization for the character outfits, so it's kind of hard to tell in a way. If you guys know for sure, let me know in the comments below, of course. And, uh, oh man, I got that beautiful, pure Japanese white rice to go with this katsu, and oh, it's so, so flaky, so fluffy, so delicious. Mmm, Mortal Kombat, yeah, I don't know. There are a few quirks with this. I mean, of course, it's a video game movie. Some some of the stuff is, of course, really quirky. Like the Kano, the, the Scorpion voice is a little bit different. Uh, a few of the lines are kind of cheesy, but at the same time, you know, they're, they're iconic lines. So, you know, like, they're going to throw in just all the phrases from the original Mortal Kombat movie that kind of <laughs> kind of made it just <laughs> fluffy, funny, uh, a good good watch. And let me tell you a story. The original Mortal Kombat movie, man, it came out, oh, I don't know. I was, I had to have still been in, yikes, let's date myself. I had to have still been in either elementary or just barely out of elementary school. And I used to go over to my cousin's house and he had the tape of the original Mortal Kombat movie, the very first one that came out. And he also had the, the soundtrack CD. Oh man, that soundtrack CD had such good songs on it. But we watched the original Mortal Kombat movie and we were just, oh, it, you know, t young boys watching Mortal Kombat movie when it first came out. It was like, that thing just went on loop every day we were around each other. Like it'd just be on the background playing and playing and playing. And, and you know, you'd see your favorite characters and you're just like having fun and oh, such nostalgic good feels from the original Mortal Kombat movie. And uh, the sub subsequent movies, like two and three, technically weren't that good. <laughs> I mean, they kind of faded off pretty fast. But the original, oh man, the original has such a good place in my heart. And this remake, I think, is also gonna be pretty good. From what I see, from what they're kind of demonstrating, it looks like it's gonna be really, really good. I, I don't know, that's all I gotta say. I I'm hyped, I'm psyched. I, I don't know what you guys want from me here. <laughs> You want that beautiful katsu, that beautiful cucumber, and that fluffy rice, and man, there's a nice modello to go with it, the dark, deep modello. And uh, I don't know, let's, let's just go over some things that are going on in this trailer here. Bear with me now. So here we got Sub-Zero, he's like, I am Sub-Zero, yeah, and then you got the whole scorpion thing. They didn't go for the mystical scorpion kind of coming out of his hand like the original movie. Now it's kind of, you know, he's just manipulating the chain and the, uh, the dagger. And then he's, you know, typical scorpion line, get over here, which is, again, like I said, kind of weird. It's a weird voice, but then again, you can't always have the same, you know, tropes and stuff. Right there, it looks like Kano uh, executes Reptile. 
I don't know if that's a spoiler intentionally, but he definitely punched a lizard-like creature and ripped out its heart. And then he gets, does this cheesy line, right? And then we're back at the beginning of the trailer. We got Jax, and he's going after Sub-Zero. This is obviously how Sub-Zero um, obliterates Jax and then his arms and et cetera, et cetera. You know, how Jax gets his uh, cybernetic arms because he basically loses them in this one as opposed to just augmenting in the uh, other storylines. Here's the main character. I'm not familiar with this character. I haven't played any recent Mortal Kombat's with this character, so I don't really know who he is. You can tell me down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, basically they're all marked from birth to fight in the tournament. Sonya's been tracking everyone down. You got Raiden and Shang Tsung facing off, which is awesome. Here's the backstory of Scorpion, where, you know, he's just doing his thing. Mr. Hanzo there killing the assassins that come after his uh, family, basically, or his clan. And I don't know. There's, it's gory. It's bloody. It's cool. April 16th. It's right <laughs> right there, man. Right there. And uh, Kato's eye, that's kind of cheesy. The fireball is kind of cheesy. But again, you know, Mortal Kombat is not a <laughs> factual story. You got Raiden. I'm not sure on the actor. If someone can please tell me the actor's name. I'm not going to look it up. I don't want to really look up actors names but you can tell me who that actor is uh oh and there's a uh, katana she's in there or not katana uh melina melina is her sister and Liu kang does a fatality of some sort with his dragon fire so i mean obviously oh you got goro and sub-zero it's all gonna be just wild wacky super abilities just like you know like like they wanted to do in the original like you wanted to see more of the cool abilities in the original um, but it was, you know, limited by the graphical abilities of the time. This one's going to be way over the top and all out action. So I'm happy with that. You know, you don't go to a Mortal Kombat movie expecting a love story or expecting an AAA plus theatrical appearance with actors. You're expecting the carnage, the nitty gritty, and, you know, just that's it. If you've been paying attention, uh, this katsu has rapidly been diminishing along with that rice and that delicious bulldog sauce on top. It's all been absolutely fantastic, made by my wife, and uh, that's that's it, man. It's, it's all good. So with that, I'm going to leave you with the remainder of this video to kind of think over your thoughts, discuss with me, comment down below, check out the rest of this delicious meal and this delicious movie. Guys... Are you hyped as I am about the movies coming out this year? We got Mortal Kombat. We got Godzilla. We got so many other titles that are just around the bend. As more and more trailers come out of the 2021 lineup, and of course, like 90% of the good movies for some reason are on HBO Max. I guess that's just the way it goes with the movie deals. So I'm thinking I might have to, you know, get a subscription just to watch these over and over again for my own viewing happiness let me know what you thought guys let me know what you think about everything and uh, have a good day